Hey there, my name is Mira, here with another episode of Getting to Know Hexels. In this episode, I'll be demonstrating some of the new pixel painting features introduced in Hexels 3. We'll break down an isometric pixel art scene and find out how we can use the new brush system to paint beautiful digital portraits and more. I'm going to be working with the Trixel shape and point out some of the slight changes and additions we've made to the document tab. Pixel layers are new to Hexels 3, and they allow you to paint in a freeform manner using pixel-based brushes with no restriction to the grid. To add a pixel layer, click the plus button with the square grid. To identify a pixel layer in your layer stack, check for the square grid on the bottom left of the layer thumbnail. Vector layers can be identified by the triangle icon on the layer thumbnail. Vector mode is traditional to Hexels and is useful for creating crisp and clean vector art. You can add a vector layer using the plus button found in the bottom of the layers tab. When setting your canvas to pixel mode, you'll notice that the edges of your vector layers become pixelated. You can change the hexel resolution value for a lower or higher pixel art resolution. Ideally, the resolution settings should be finalized before creating any pixel layers, otherwise the pixel layers will no longer match up. In pixel mode, you can change your canvas units to be either in hexel units or pixel units, depending on the goal of the final outcome. If you're creating pixel art and have specific dimensions in mind, Pixel units would be the best suited option. Let's paint using pixel layers. The brush tab has been added to work with pixel layers, and here you'll find all of the settings you need to pick and edit your pixel brushes. We've also included two types of grids, pixel grid and trixel grid for visual aid in drawing isometric shapes. You can pick a brush to paint with from the brush toolbar or the brush tab. There are three types of pixel brushes. A smooth brush useful for more rendered paintings, a pencil useful for old-fashioned pixel art, and an airbrush for soft flow-based brushwork. My chosen style is pixel art, so I'm going to select the pencil brush, set my brush tip shape to pixel round, and draw some pillows for our expected guests. This is King Frog's apartment, and today is his birthday. So I painted a portrait of our very modest host, added some furniture and birthday decorations, and included our birthday boy. He's a little lonely, so let's give him some friends to party with. In Hexels 3.1, we've made it possible to drag and drop the reference immediately on your canvas. This feature is especially handy for someone who doesn't have access to a second monitor or if I simply want my reference to be on the same canvas. You can use the Layer Transform tool to resize and move the image around the canvas. I'll start painting our panda guest in the scene using the round pixel brush on a pixel layer. Lasso and Polygon Selection tools are now part of the selection family. I used the Lasso Selection tool to deduct some detail from my sphere shape and I used the pencil to paint the rest of the detail of our panda friend. Another cool feature we've added to the toolset is the Super Shape tool. This tool allows you to draw different types of shapes in isometric. You can turn on the isometric grid to help guide you with placing your shapes. There are transform control points for you to resize and reposition your shape on the canvas. Holding down the Alt and Shift keys while resizing will resize your shape uniformly. Holding down control and dragging a control point creates a duplicate of the shape 
and dragging while holding shift down snaps your shape to the grid. Besides retro pixel art, the new brush system allows you to create painterly pieces. Let's take a closer look at the brush tab. To enable the brush tab, you must first add a pixel layer. The brush preset rollout offers a wide variety of brush presets to paint with. From basic types of brushes, to more textured, effect-packed brushes. This is the default library of brush tip shapes. You can import your own brush tip alphas by pressing the plus icon on the stamp rollout. You can edit a brush to your heart's content using the sliders in the brush tab. Spacing controls the distance between each brush mark, and the frequency of the marks can be adjusted by dragging the arrowheads below the slider. The rotation slider controls the angle of the mark and also includes the adjustable arrowheads to control how random the rotations are. You can save your edited brush preset by hitting the gear icon and clicking Save Brush Preset. I'll use my edited brush to paint a bokeh effect in the background. Throwing tablet users will have a rollout for pen pressure settings. Pen pressure options include affecting brush size, hue shift, opacity, two color painting, hardness, and flow. You can have multiple options checked and combine their effects. The floating color picker is a new addition that makes color more accessible by placing the color wheel right on your canvas. The color picker also displays a few swatches from your color sampling history. You can bring it up by holding down Alt and right mouse click. You can create a neat effect by duplicating your layer, right clicking, and picking the hexalized layer option. I'll add a mask to my layer and erase out some of the hexalized detail. The Paint Effects rollout offers a number of painting effects to play with. For this segment, I'll be showing you how to use the new Radial Mirror Drawing option. This is great for coming up with awesome symmetrical designs. You can change the amount of segments to create even more complex looking designs that in fact took very little time. To erase detail in Radial Symmetry, Switch to the eraser tool by hitting E on the keyboard, change the paint effects drop down to radial mirror, and change the number of segments to match the amount of segments you originally drew with. And that's a wrap on episode 2 of Getting to Know Hexels. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our website to learn more about Hexels.